began with eight. By the end of the night, we'll be down to six. On a 3-2, Bellardi slaps one to the shortstop, Kylie Naomi, who throws her out to open the game. She will end her career in OKC. Bostrom takes one, again deemed to be low. Worth noting early, a drop-off pitcher not getting the bottom of the zone, and a walk for Bostrom. In the Pac-12 final against UCLA. Didn't miss a beat, had to leave that game, but was back next week. Jimenez drives one, deep center field. Factor is at the wall and she'll come back in. A beautiful night to be a fly ball pitcher. As the win knocked down what looked like a home run off the bat of Julia Jimenez. Hawkins out to short. Naomi plays the upward hop and makes the play. So a scoreless first. Now back from Cheyenne Factor. Deadens it beautifully and Becker will take second. Kylie Naomi ball. will take ball four. The second walk of the first inning. Win throws it. Base hit left field. Hit so hard that Becker holds it third. Win. <laughs> Little swim move to elude the tag of Bobstrom over at first. That is one of the hottest sizzlers we've seen in the tournament. Becker couldn't get home on a blistered ball. Morgan Wynn gets her barrel down to this drop ball. It's low and in, and she knows what she's expecting and what she's looking for. That ball was hit so hard. Can you guys ask me to tell Rachel Becker? Stayed in the first. And Carwell grounds the ball through the right side for a base hit. One run home. Naomi will go in standing to make it two. She was 0 for 8 at the World Series a season ago. She delivers with a two-run single in the first. Caitlin Carlisle to put Oklahoma State on top. Oklahoma State just continuing to attack this drop ball down in the zone. Carlisle goes down and gets it. It's hit hard because the infield is playing in. It's able to get past Bellardi at second base to not just score one, but score two. That was a must-have hit for Oklahoma State and Caitlin Carlisle. Denning will lay down a bunt. Fair ball. Tuck! Nick to it first. They were on their toes, all right. It was an 18 championship series won by the Knowles. It's a pretty juicy looking day three, and that is a juicy looking ball with fair off the bat of Taylor Tuck, who's going to slide into second with a double. Very, very close to the chalk down the line. Danny Bowman, the plate umpire, says fair ball, and it's a two base hit. Yeah, quick call that umpire had to make, and I saw it hit off of Jimenez's glove, just smoked down the line, and you see right there, it, like it just barely glanced off of it. She's in fair territory, just a little bit, right? Maybe it's an optical illusion, but either way, that was a shot past Jimenez. Brings up Megan Bloodworth. Bloodworth lays down a bump, and Tuck isn't going. Bloodworth is safe, though. Lost to Kansas in a Big 12 tournament. They were really crumbling into the NCAA. Becker through the left side base hit. Top to third. Top to the stop sign. Oklahoma State has loaded the bases for the second straight inning. Factor left side. Base hit. Cheyenne Factor to bring in another run. They are just punching balls out to the outfield one by one. Naomi off the end of the bat, that will fall on the dirt, trickling to the grass. Bloodworth is home, station to station for Oklahoma State. The first five have reached in the second, and it is for nothing OSU. And that ball just hit off the end of Kylie Naomi's bat. Bit of an off-speed pitch, she's out in front of it. It just pokes it out beyond second base. Nobody can get to it. Perfectly placed as if she just dropped it there with her hand. 
That skips away from Lundberg, and here comes the fifth run. Becker's in the score. Fetter as well. The ball is out of play. It rolled up on the net. Fetter's going to be sent back to third despite her best efforts. So a wild pitch uncorked by Morris, and it is five set. The fourth in the Oklahoma State dugout. <laughs> Win. Blasts off left center. That's going to bring in two more. The floodgates are all the way open. It's seven nothing as Win takes two. What they're seeing, any speed. This is a changeup that Morgan Win is able to stay in her legs and stay back on. She just drove that. I mean, the sound of it coming off the bat. She got so much of it. Much like many of these Oklahoma State swings, they are just on these pitches off speed. Carlisle up the middle. It sneaks through. Win rounds third. Win is coming home. Everybody into the pool. Six runs and there is no stopping this Oklahoma State train. And Lexi Kilfall has got a strikeout of Davison to begin the third. A very offensive team. One word from Kerr makes the play. Two and two for Bellardi. That ball is hit well. And an opposite field knock for Ali Bellardi. There's Utah's first hit of the game. Comes from their hits leader, the junior Bellardi. Countdown. Oh, look at this. Morris with a snatch of Becker. Again, aggressive early in the count. Everybody Becker hit hits his change up so hard, and Morris just gets a glove up. That is just pure reaction if you're a pitcher with how hard that ball comes off the bat. A win, but hardly order to oppose them here. Julia Jimenez, that ball stays fair. Odd spin on that thing is Megan Bloodworth made the play on the three hitter Jimenez. He was on a changeup and Jimenez was out in front of it. It looked like it was going to go foul. It was off the end of her back. Crazy spin. Look at the direction of the ball. It looks like it's going to continue to head foul and then it hits the dirt. Spins the other way. Look at that. That's crazy. You don't see that very often. Jimenez 0 for 2. Sophie Hakez. There's also a for two. Two pitches, two outs for Lexi Kilfoyle. Today on the Alabama game was an amazing moment. Casper will sneak it to the left side off the glove of Naomi. A leadoff single for Utah in the fifth. Winning a championship, and then here he is, part of this coaching staff, getting back to OKC. And DJ's got a couple of runners on board right now as Haley Denning lays down a perfect bunch single. Two on, nobody out for the Utes trying to keep their season alive. Infield in, up eight. And it's right back to Kilfoyle. Oh, man, did Nelson hit that one well, and did she locate it poorly? Nelson hit this ball so hard right back at Lexi Kilfoyle. This was a missile right back at her, and she's just kind of guarding her face. That got on her so fast and low. She's even, not even phased, looking to take the next step to try to double up somebody. But that got on her so fast, runners couldn't get very far off. Yeah. One, two. No. Top of the Yonko goes down, and Kilfoyle has put the Cowgirls on the doorstep. 2023 season. Velarde a ground ball to first, and she will not do it. Oklahoma State returns with a vengeance. Run ruled, 8 nothing a night ago. They are the run rulers on this Friday. 8 nothing to advance to Sunday and to end this magical ride for the Utah Utes.